just want to talk, uh, I've already talked about the hardware and the connectivity or network sort of side of things. I uh, just want to touch very quickly around software and the applications in context of laptop versus smart device or smartphone. Uh, in the old days when I first started looking at this, we used to do a thing called app smashing, which is where you used to have to use a lot of different software packages to deliver an outcome. Um, that's a conversation for another for another session, but um, I just wanted to quickly touch on some of the software, uh, as, a, as I've already mentioned, re-hardware and the systems they're in, because it is operate in a bit of a jungle, but there's a way to, to cut the vines or join the vines together better, sorry, that's probably a better way of saying it. There's a way of na navigating that jungle of different systems pretty easily, and they pretty much are an ecosystem these days as opposed to a delineated either or us or them type system. So very quickly, you'll see that I've already mentioned the Samsung Galaxy versus the Apple uh, Android, Apple Store, Play Store. Um, and that's where you get all your tools to fill up your toolbox from. And, and what I want to point out here is a lot of these tools will be across the different hardware systems. So um, I can have an app that's downloadable to one of my devices, but also sits on my desktop. And a really good example of that would be the Vic Emergency application. And they're actually found on both systems, but not all devices or all tools or software applications are found on both systems. Uh, another reason I like the Apple products is because they're a bit more robust than the Android ones, and that's because of the way that Apple makes the developers go through a regime to make sure their product is of some quality. The way I actually make these two systems work for me, and I've already said it a hundred times, I think, and that's Google Chrome for me, or Google. Uh, it, it works really well, at, especially in taskbar situations, and I'll take you through, take you through a little bit of a screenshot example of that and, and what that looks like when I explain what these toolbar stuff, toolbar sit within your um, internet browser and how they can sit on your device uh, and sync together. Really important um, if you're doing work in multiple different environments uh, in multiple settings. Another couple of things, um, make sure even when we're talking about software in terms of, in this case, I've got a screen up that talks around software in terms of the Apple device or smartphone. There's already built-in settings where you can change, um, for example, a flashlight. You can put a flashlight on your phone um, built into it. Previously to that, you used to download flashlight tool. Uh, another good example of that would be um, a QR code, for example. There's actually one built into the phone that pops up at a home screen setting uh, rather than using uh, a, a dedicated app for it. Different systems, different hardware, and, and different Apple or versus Samsung systems or Galaxy systems are going to have different features around it. It's about exploring, getting, um, getting in the sandpit and having a look around because there may be some tools that are going to help you there, some software package that's really going to help you. All right, one more quick thing. Um, this is a different subject again, or a different session really around iOS devices and the accessibility settings that are, are in there. So if you go to settings under accessibility in Apple, for example, you can do a whole bunch of things that are worth doing, uh, turning on or off, depending on what your need is. One of the ones in particular is speech select. I always have speech select on, and I'll show you why that matters to me shortly. All right, let's run through some of these on a device itself. But before I do that, just be mindful. I am going to talk a little bit about the smart devices here. Um, but a lot of these applications are available at your desktop or laptop computer. Uh, what you need to look for is the ease of access symbol. Um, Anyway, let's, uh, let's go and have a little bit of a play uh, and we'll come back to it.